three information that I'm going to give you, and it's my own information, uh, just to help you guys out there that are flying the Flywing uh, 450 size helicopters. Uh, and this is my Huey here in grey and white. So you get the special cable. And uh, the small part goes into the USB port here next to the GPS. And when that happens, and you put the other part into the USB port on the computer, you get the flashing red light. Now, you will have to connect over here. Do you see my mouse? Well, we'll use a barrow. We have to connect here. Now, if it doesn't connect the first time, don't get, give up or don't get worried. Try it again. It will come up saying here, little message here saying not connected. And you go, OK, and then you press it again. Now, it does take a few seconds for it to work. Once you get in, you will see connected. Or, uh, well, in this case, yeah, uh, it will say disconnected, but disconnected means that you want to get out of it. But all these will highlight, all these settings will highlight. Now, I went into sensor when I first got my heli, okay, and I calibrated it. And it tells you here how to calibrate the helicopter. It's very, very straightforward, but you need to take your time. And you press this calibrator button here, and these two um, graphs here will move right the way up to the very end. And you have to get it to move right to the very end before the calibration is successful. Down here you have the, the uh, low battery protection. Um, I have it on. Uh, but like if I want to get out of that, the low battery, what will happen is she'll go into return to home. If you don't want that to happen, the best thing is to do is to uh, flick the switch out of GPS into home and then back into GPS again on your remote control. Um, parameters. What I did was I reset my scale heli um it says down here scale heli restore default settings i pressed that uh, because i wasn't really happy with the with the way it came set up so the stabilization went from i think it was as low as 39 to 50 and um i've been quite happy with it but not completely happy. And I'll tell you why in a second. This down here is your 3D security. Now, as she is a, a uh, um, scale heli, I have that off. There's no way that I want to fly this in 3D. Now, what I found is up here we have soft mode, standard mode, and sports mode. And I've had mine in standard mode as it came from the factory. Now, it was okay. But what I found was that I was getting a lot of, uh, in flight, I was getting an awful lot of this business. Up and down, up and down. Even setting it to uh, scale heli, uh, restore defects or de default settings. It was still going a little bit like this and was really, really getting on my wick. So you have soft mode, standard mode, and then you have sports mode. Now I'm after putting mine to sports mode and I'm after doing a test flight and there's now more power in the rotor system. In other words, more revs and it seems to have sorted out that situation. So there are the little tips that I want to give you is that if you go from standard mode to sports mode, 
And um, that will make a big difference. But before I did that, remember I did a calibration. Actually, I did three calibrations, would you believe it or not? Because I thought that the calibration was the problem. Um, but I did a calibration of the helicopter in my own country here in Ireland. And then down here, it says scale heli restore default settings. I did that. Still wasn't very happy because she was in standard flight. And then I went into sports mode and I set her for sports mode. And um, I've done a test and I'm very, very happy with the results. So there's a few tips. I'm still in the middle of customizing the heli. It's nearly finished. I'm just waiting for a, another few parts. When I say customize, I'm just saying that I'm putting my personal touches to the canopy. So it's, you know, it's not going to be something crazy, but it is going to make the helicopter look that little bit better. Uh, especially when you're flying her, you know, fairly close to you. So I thought I'd make this video for you guys. Um, just a few tips that I found that works. And I hope that helps. Okay, talk to you soon. The next video, I hope to have the the personal touches done to my heli, if you want to call it that, or customizing it slightly. And I'm going to show you what I did in the next video. Okay, God bless to you and your family. Bye-bye from now. Bye-bye.